welcome to today's video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a professional circle image using Photoshop. Perfect to add to your blogs, to your social media accounts, to just make it look really good. So check out this video and please remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Okay, so first of all we need to go into Photoshop. So let's get that opened up. Right, once you have Photoshop opened, you just need to find your image and open that up. So you can do File and Open and find your image that way. Um, I've got a little window at the bottom with my image ready, so I'm going to drag that across. And I'm just going to do Control and H, which will just remove those grid lines. And I'm going to do Control and Plus just to make it a little bit more zoomed in so it's easier to work on. Now, if you've got this um, cross on your cursor, you just need to click on the one above it there, on the left-hand side, so you get your pointer back. And the first thing to do is to make your picture editable if it is not already editable, which basically means on the right-hand side of your screen, where it says background, if there's a padlock there, simply double-click on that layer and click OK. And all that will do will remove the padlock and mean that we can now edit the main image. So the first thing to do now is on the left hand side we're going to hover over the, the dotted rectangle and hold our mouse down and select the elliptical marquee tool. This will give us our nice circle image rather than a rectangle. <laughs> uh, back to our picture, if you hold the shift key down whilst you drag your mouse across that will keep the dimensions of a perfect circle. So make that as big or as small as you'd like for your image. Once you're happy with the size, you can let go and reposition for however you would like that. Once you have your circle in the right place, uh, we're just going to go to the top of the menu now and click on Select, and then we're going to click Inverse. All this basically does is highlight the detail in the background that we don't want. Once that's highlighted, as you can see on my screen, simply press Delete on your keyboard and that will get rid of all that extra detail. You can do Control and D, which will deselect all that. So we have a nice circle image. Lastly, all we need to do now is to just crop the image down to size, because obviously we don't want all this extra stuff. <laughs> and to do that, we're going to go back on our left-hand side and we're going to click back into the rectangular marquee tool. Where with a little bit of trial and error as to where you want your cropped image to be, um, just make your rectangle around the image. Um, once you've got that selected and you're happy with those dimensions, you just need to go on Image in the top menu and select Crop. And I'm going to do Control and D just to deselect that. And also zoom out again with Control and Minus. And there's our image. All we need to do is save for web and devices. It is important to save it for web and devices rather than a normal save. And to do that, all you need to do on your keyboard is hold down Shift, Control, Alt and S for save. That will load up the save for web screen. And it's very important to make sure your preset is set to the PNG. Uh, that just means that we will have this transparent background in the corners, so we'll have a perfect circle image. And you can adjust your image size dimensions if you need to. I'm going to keep those as that for now because I don't want to pixelate it. And then you can save your image. I'm going to just add a circle on the end of that. Okay. And there we have it, a perfect circle image ideal for your social media account or as a nice detail on your about page on your website. Well I hope you enjoyed that video, please remember to click like and do subscribe for more videos from this channel.